What would you do if I sang out of tune? Would you stand up and walk out on me? She's a single mom with three kids, all under the age of 10, a full-time job supervising six ambitious employees, co-chair of her church's board, and a master's student in the Kiuka MSN program. The impossible? That's her specialty. Her father got laid off from his job last spring, and her boyfriend back home left for Afghanistan over the summer. This term, she's working a part-time job to pay for her books, at the same time that, as a student teacher, she inspires a group of third graders and finishes her education degree at Kiuka. Impossible, but she's doing it. He works at Marketplace Mall and takes the bus to MCC Damon every Thursday for his management classes. He looks forward to the day when he's making a difference as a manager in a not-for-profit agency. Impossible? Not for him. Oh, how do I feel at the end of a day? On the day you showed up at Cuca College for your orientation to the college, you were perhaps a little fearful the road ahead looked intimidating, unknown, and impossibly long. But you began. And today, as you receive your diploma, you can see that beginning was the most important step of all, and that these last few steps across the stage make it all worth it. So we are gathered here to celebrate your success. And credit for that success goes to everybody here. You got by with a little help, maybe a lot of help, from your friends and from your family and from your co-workers and from your teachers and advisors. You weren't even recovered from orientation when you started classes. You began to make friends and get to know how to navigate through your coursework. For traditional students, Cuca College became your home, learning to live with a roommate, becoming part of your residence hall community, staying up late to finish papers in the computer labs, and getting to classes on time. For ASAP students, it meant that every week, you and your cohort gathered in your classroom in Syracuse, Rochester, Corning, Bath, Utica, Batavia, or Canandaigua and you welcomed a series of teachers who took you through your curriculum. The experience I've had at CUCA is a good one. I met some very nice people, including my instructors. Some teachers went above and beyond to help me with personal issues unrelated to my education. Because you don't do anything in isolation, your parents and siblings supported your work, even if they were far away. Your kids affected your studies, your job limited when you could do homework. It's not that you didn't have time, it's that you had to find the time in unusual places. Waiting in the car for your daughter to finish basketball practice. Staying an extra hour at work. Choosing an evening in the library over an evening in the residence hall. Shutting the door so you couldn't hear Grey's Anatomy or American Idol. Just as you earned this degree, so also does it belong in an absolutely real way to your family. They earned it too. I'd like to thank my family, my friends, and my fiance for all the support they've given me the last three and a half years. Thank you for being there with me through the best and the worst, and I look forward to sharing my future experiences with all of you. My husband and two sons helped me with my homework when I needed help and were always very understanding when I would say, I have to work on my homework, I can't spend time with you right now. My brother Doug would keep encouraging me that it will be worth it in the end when I felt like I wanted to give up. I want to thank my whole family for supporting me and seeing the potential in me that I did not always see. My friends who are always there for me and have given me amazing memories that I will never forget. And all my professors who pushed me to succeed and have given me the education that will make me successful in my future. Thank you. My wife, Heather, encouraged me to keep going when I was struggling with work, family, home, and community responsibilities. She helped me to stay focused and was understanding when I had to sacrifice our time together to complete my homework. She was my sounding board when completing projects or writing papers. So congratulate yourself, Heather, and all of you husbands and wives, parents, brothers, sisters, sons, daughters, 
partners and friends, you have earned it. I'm gonna try, gonna try, gonna try. Now that you've completed your degree, you might not miss having to be in class, and you might not miss plowing through criminology, epidemiology, psychology, English, human behavior, or business law books. You probably won't even miss writing papers and cracking the APA code, but you probably will miss your cohort, classmates, your friends, and Keuka College. Because above all, you got by with a little help from your friends. Thanks to Keuka, I've been very fortunate in being placed with a group of very intellectual people. The group has become a close-knit family, one that I wish never to lose contact with. I'm sure if you ask anyone what they come to appreciate most out of the Cuca experience, the answer you will receive would be the family I have come to know, respect, and value. Your cohort and your friends supported you, inspired you, and kept you going. But the most memorable gift they gave you was opening up your mind to new ideas and new ways of looking at the old ones. The most meaningful thing I learned about my professional practice from the Cuga experience is even when you think you have a strong opinion on something, keep an open mind and listen to others. My views changed a lot. Cuga helped me to learn to think outside the box. I'm gonna try, gonna try, gonna try with a little help from my friends. So, welcome to the beginning of a new life. Today, some of you have joined a rather select society. The roughly 28% of American adults who hold bachelor's degrees and others of you have joined the very much smaller master's degree club, which includes just under 7% of Americans. You have also joined the larger family of Cayuca College alumni, more than 100 years worth of folks who have touched and been touched by the college. As you commence your new life, you're bringing with you all you have learned and all of the people who have made this new beginning possible. You should be proud of your accomplishments, optimistic about your future, and secure in the knowledge that you will continue to specialize in the impossible, with a little help from your friends. <laughs>